couple of uh, programs in close succession. Um, so it might be uh, an idea to um, just be nice and fussy over the next two or three days. Obviously game Saturday, game New Year's Day, uh, Monday. Uh, I don't have to rush into anything. Not an easy weekend this one. Um, lots and lots of permutations you could have made a very strong case for. So I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Um, Bournemouth against Everton, I'm going to go for a score draw at 7-2. to uh, No Rooney for Everton the other day. Will he be back? So I need to have a look at that first and foremost. Um, they have had five clean sheets, I think, under Sam. So we know where they're concentrating at this stage. Um, all of a sudden they've become tough to beat. Never going to be massively proactive in front of goal, I don't think, until they, they get a little bit more quality going forward. But um, at least they've become a team that are difficult to play against and difficult to beat, which is something to work from. Um, so, score draw, I'm going to go for a Nick Summit in this one as well, because Bournemouth invariably, we saw the game against West Ham. They will concede, but they will also score. So, I'm going to go for Everton. Keep it tight, um, but Nick something on the break. Bournemouth Everton, score draw at 7 to 2. Um, I'm going to go on to Huddersfield against Burnley, um, and I'm going to go for the same bet here. I think pretty evenly matched these two sides. Um, Burnley have had a wonderful, wonderful time, done brilliant, uh, still chugging along nicely, Huddersfield, been a little bit up and down, um, they've gone spells where they can't win a game for love nor money and then big games where people have started to question them and they've come through um, and now all of a sudden they're picking up you know, points when, uh, you know, when, um, when they haven't done before. So a win followed by a draw, um, nothing wrong with that. And uh, they look as if they're going to be okay, which is great. I went up the other day and the atmosphere was fantastic. And obviously a massive novelty being in the, the Premiership, Premier League. Sorry. So um, I'm going to go for a score draw here, 7-2. Uh, and I'm going to double them both up. Not a score draws, but a draw, win, double. So just a little side bet for a bit of fun. And that's 11-1. to one. But Bournemouth, Everton, Huddersfield, Burnley. Uh, single bets, both score draws at 7-2 to two for single market. Double them up, just Draw double, it doesn't have to be a score draw, but a draw of some description in both games is 11 to 1. Uh, <clears throat> Newcastle against Brighton, another really, really difficult one to get into. You, know, you, you look at neither side being great going for, you know, struggle to score goals. Under 2.5 is 4 to 7, way, way too short in a game like this, in a game where both teams might, you never know, have a little pop at each other. So I'm just going to keep it, as I say, keep this one simple. Newcastle to win at 6-5. to five. Um, Palace against Man City. Um, looked at loads of little things in this. Palace plus two is 11-10. to 10. So, you know, City have got to beat them by three goals or more for you to lose your money. I think that's not a bad bet. Palace plus two at 11-10. Uh, to 10. If they get beat by the single goal, then uh, you win and uh, obviously draw or they win, you win. And if they get beat by two clear goals by City, you get your money back. Um, but the one I will settle on is both teams to score and City to win at 13 to 8. That would be my bet in this, but uh, so there's various permutations you could look at. And I think probably the most appealing bet of the day is going to be West Brom at home to Arsenal. West Brom um, have hardly been prolific since Alan Pardew's gone. I think he hasn't scored in five games under his tenureship. Um, I'm going to go for West Brom plus two in this game. So if they got beat 1-0, we still win. Um, plus two at six to five. Arsenal got to beat them by clear, three clear goals for you to lose your money. I think a six to five plus two is a good bet in this, in this game. I think that's one worth looking at. I'm going to be up there for five live, so really looking forward to it. Um, last but not least will be Bradford. Portsmouth and Exeter all at home for my treble, which comes out at nine to two. As I said, tough weekend. So you know, if you need to keep your powder dry, do so, because we can do it all over again on Monday. Good luck to everyone. Um, hope you had a good Christmas and uh, happy New Year. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.